Yo, what's up guys? I'm Skip and you're watching High Volts Gaming. On today's episode, we're playing some BMG Drive. We have this new rollback tow truck mod loaded in here for the T-Series. This thing looks absolutely awesome, works great. So we're going to do a little bit of a review today and a little bit of a towing challenge, right? we got a broke down truck up here somewhere in the mountains. We're going to go pick it up and try to bring it back down here to old uh, AJ's Auto Repair. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing off here. You can see up in the top right-hand corner there, we got the extend bed, retract bed, raise and lower bed. So um, basically what we're going to do is raise it up so we can hit U here to raise it up, and we're going to want to extend it out as well. So let's go ahead and hold T. And the best way I've found so far is to go ahead and extend it all the way out and then use the U to raise it up to where the back of the uh, bed sort of hits the ground, right? So that's all the way out there, so we'll go ahead and go up. Until the bed hits the ground, there we go, so we'll have a nice transition for our car. So there's our broke down truck, that's actually a Baja variant of the uh, D-Series that works really well, so make sure I leave a link to that down in the description below as well, and of course to this uh, rollback T-Series. So let's go ahead and get our car out of the way here. There we go, put that bad boy back into park, back over to our truck here. So now we're going to go ahead and lower the bed by hitting H and retract it by hitting Y. There we go, it works exactly how you expect it to, works really well, you can't go too far or anything to sort of mess anything up, Just sort of hold the buttons down until it's where it needs to be and then you're good to go. Let's get this thing fired back up, take it for a little test drive, now you can see we do have the locked uh, differentials back here, so might as well go ahead and lock those all in. There we go. You know, basically just a regular T-Series here, but that bed is pretty much the whole mod. I'm sure you could, you know, uh, customize this thing out, use it with some of the other custom parts for the T-Series. Really make yourself uh, one awesome looking tow rig, I'm sure. Might have to do that. You guys definitely let me know if you'd like to see that in the build video coming up here. For right now, let's go ahead and get out to where that truck is, try to get him picked up. Now, there's a way that you can actually load up a vehicle on here without the vehicle running, without actually, you know, driving it up on there. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well. Rolling out here, let's slow it down. I believe this is our turn. Keep this thing under control. I am using my uh, Xbox One controller today. So not as good of a control as using the wheel. Usually I like to be on my Logitech for things like this, but I figured it would work out well with the uh, tow challenge here, so let's see what we can do. We can boogie and ride along, no problem. So far, no problem at all with the hill, just trying to climb and ride on up and cruise and ride along. There we go, now I believe our truck should be up here somewhere. Let's go ahead and jump inside this bad boy. Get a little first person view going on here. Gears. And there's our truck. Go ahead and clutch in. Oh, we stalled the motor. Alright, where's my... Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back into a good camera view here. How are we going to hook up to this thing? I think we're going to go ahead and pull around here. Pull up behind it, load it up tailgate first, or where the tailgate should be on that truck. through here no problem all right and whoa okay maybe that that might not have been the best place also stopping without putting the clutch in might not have been the best idea go ahead and set that back up nobody saw that that was a very poor attempt at truck driving if I do say so myself <laughs> Let's drive back into that ditch again and stall our motor out again. Goodness, we're not doing good here to get today, guys. All right, let's see what we can do. Park and brake on in neutral. Go ahead and raise our bed up here, extend it out. Should be able to get right up behind that little pick em up truck. We're a little bit off, but we could probably. I'll pull it over there a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit control here for our node grabber. Go ahead and grab my mouse. And we should, once we grab one of these nodes, actually this uh, truck normally has a little piece on it that I forgot to put on it. So I guess we'll just go ahead and grab this node right here. 
Go ahead and pull it out. We're going to put this down to about 20%, 15 maybe will work good. And then we can also use our mouse to sort of uh, scroll our camera around here. And then you use the uh, AWSD keys to sort of fly around in space. Oh, where are we at? There we go. Okay, you have to let go let go of the uh, node grabber then reselect it here we're going to put it right here on the uh, rear of rear of this truck and let's see what that's going to do that's going to how did our truck move over that far there's no way our truck was there a second ago i must have pulled it over when i grabbed it with the node grabber so anyways that's how you load up a truck with it without it running totally messed that one all up All right, guys, attempt number three of loading this thing up. It's definitely not easy with the manual transmission, but there we go. Shifted it down into low range. But after a couple of failed attempts, that's how you get it on there. Uh, like I said, you could definitely use that node grabber like you see me uh, saw me try to do there. Let's go ahead and load this bad boy back up. And, uh, you know, just like I said, you grab the node on the truck, grab the node on the tow truck, tie the two of them together, and if you have it lined up and everything's working good, it will pull it on up there, right? So that is the method, although my technique was not great and it totally didn't work here in this sort of, you know, off-road, in the dirt sort of situation, but that's all right. That is the theory behind it. Anyway, we got this thing loaded up. We're going to get it towed back to the garage. See what we can do here now. I definitely, uh, I love that this thing has the uh, you know emergency lights on the back of it. There, the uh, you know it's got the diamond plate texture on the uh, what is that on the bed of the uh, wrecker bed, the uh, rollback bed. There, really looks good. Just a good looking mod. Works well. Everything's uh, you know everything's exactly what you would want it to be, right? So whoa, let's just completely over rev our engine and stall it somehow. I don't know how we over revved and stalled the engine. But there we go. We are cruising. The truck's about to fall off of there. I guess we should have strapped it down. You can also use those node grabbers and that sort of same technique to strap the truck down, right? Strap the uh, back of it down, you know, uh, hook it up with a couple of points there. Which way are we supposed to be going? And then you, uh, there's no way that the truck could fall off at that point, right? But if you do like we did, we just drove it up there. We didn't even secure this one down at all. So a couple of nodes on there and you would have been good to go. All right, so we're about back to the garage here. The truck has not fallen off completely yet, so let's just take a uh, shortcut through the dirt. Yeah, there it goes, yep. There it goes, it's gone. So almost successful trip. I didn't want one of these towing challenges to actually end in a success, because if you've been a fan of the channel for any amount of time, Usually that's what happens. Something ends up falling off right at the uh, most unopportune moment. But that is the rollback tow truck, guys. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, as always, I may uh, make sure I leave a link to it down there so you guys can try this thing out for yourself. And as always, we're going to go ahead and read a couple of shout outs from the last video. So if you guys want a shout out, like to get into the next uh, shout out section of the video, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. All right, so the Ripjaw 9000 Gaming says, can I get a shout out? Where to go? Can I get a shout out? This is my 23rd try. So sorry that you didn't get on sooner than this, brother. But uh, if you guys haven't got on into the shout out portion of the videos, do just like Ripjaw did. Keep trying. Keep letting me know down in the comment section below. Like I said, every video I try to pick out some new names, right? We got Jap20 here. Can I get a shout out? Please get, didn't get one in this video. I think I told him I was going to give him one, but didn't get him in the last one. So there you go, Jap. Uh, or J uh, Jas Jap20. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, getting your uh, shout out requests in. Let's go ahead and read some other ones here. Um, the Spin Tires Mud Runner is total BS. I totally agree with you. It seems like we're having to pay for the upgrade with that being said or for the update with that being said I'm definitely going to pay the $13 because you actually get it for half off if you've already bought spin tires so that isn't too bad of a deal 13 something bucks and uh, we're going to be playing it when it comes out uh, putting it to the test and see if that game is going to uh, you know live up to this new update that's costing us this money and everything else right so definitely be on the lookout for that let me know down in the comment section below if you guys want to see some spin tires mud runner 
And let's finish it off with Jacob Smearer. Uh, can I get a shout out to Here You Go, brother? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for getting your shout out requests in. Do just like Jacob did. Get your shout out requests in now. Hopefully you'll see. Uh, uh, hopefully you'll show up in the next video, right? You guys are absolutely awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for smashing that thumbs up button. I'm Skip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please smash that thumbs up button if you did enjoy it. Click over here to check out some of our other videos. I'm Skip and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.